The word Tharangambari in Tamil means the land of singing whales. Formerly known as Trankubar, this erstwhile Danish settlement is not far from Pondicherry and has rich history. In this episode, we shall explore the beautiful town and its legacy. We shall also stay in a 17th century heritage bungalow which is right on the beach. So friends, we finally reached Tharangambari. It took eight and a half hours uh, drive from Bangalore. The road was pretty good. And behind me is the bungalow on the beach, which is indeed a 17th century Danish bungalow. Stay tuned, stay with us. We will explore this place with you. This 17th century property was bungalow of the Danish collector. It was restored by the Nimrana group and converted into a heritage hotel in 2004. Though there are some addition of modern amenities like AC and swimming pool, the property still holds the old charm environment. As the name suggests, it is exactly on the beach and perhaps the best place to stay in Tharangambari. We have put up our base in this room, Queen Anna Sophia. Let's go inside and check the room. nice with lot of antique furnitures but USB of the room is the veranda over there while coming here we called them and pre-ordered our lunch so let's go downstairs so we have ordered this uh, rock fish the name is quite intimidating but as per shubhabrato it tastes quite good All through the afternoon and the evening, it was raining heavily and we could not go out. But watching rainfall on the sea from the veranda is fulfilling, especially with chai, pakora and some good friends. Even if you watch the sunrise from the bungalow, I would recommend you to step out on the beach. During this morning hours, there is no crowd and everything looks very beautiful. Morning friends, we just watched beautiful sunrise from the balcony itself and now we have come on the beach to have a walk. It's a beautiful sunny bright morning and 
not many people here so that's why it is even better The beach of Tharangambari is one of the most ozone rich places on earth and you can clearly feel the vibe and positive energy. We spent some awesome time over here and met some new friends. Balaji, Balaji, Nitin. Nitin. So folks, we had a very beautiful uh, early morning walk on the beach. and later on we shall go to visit the fort museum and other places around but right now i'm feeling very hungry so let's go downstairs for our breakfast so guys we had our breakfast and now we are going out It's a bright and sunny day, quite hot and humid as well, but we are really enjoying. This is a very quiet and you know calm place. Uh, not many tourists over here. Lot of interesting places, very colorful. Danish East India Company was established in 1620 with the idea of doing spice trade in Indian subcontinent. Behind me is the famous Danish port. uh dansberg which is the second largest danish fort in the world and we are going inside we will uh, see the museum stay tuned and stay with us after getting the land trading and tax collection rights from the nayakas of tanjavur the danish constructed this fort dansberg here which was the second largest danish fort ever built The fort has now been turned into a public attraction. There is a small museum inside which tells lot about Danish India history and also has artifacts of contemporary times. There are two levels in this fort. Uh the second level was meant for the governor priest and other high rank officials and uh, this level 1 is mainly for the foot soldiers and guards and they have several different kinds of rooms like store rooms uh, prisons warehouses but i believe the most popular room is definitely this one the fort dansberg shows the ambition of danish east india company but their venture was not successful in india and they ultimately sold all the settlements to british including sirampur in west bengal and tharangambari so guys we just came out of the fort it was a nice experience it's now time for some ice cream i have picked my one and rest of the gang they are also enjoying When you were visiting Tharangambari, do walk through the idyllic streets aimlessly. There are plenty of old European style buildings and lazy neighborhoods to give you a chilled out vibe. And if you are a street photographer, the subjects are plenty here. Behind me is the old town gate uh, which separated the European block with rest of the areas and it has the insignias of uh, Royal Danish Fort Behind me is the Zion Church which was established in 1701 in Tharangambari There are a lot of churches of different sects of Christianity along with uh, the colonial powers 
missionaries from Europe also came here. The first Bible that was translated in India uh, from Latin to Tamil happened here. First printing press of India was established here to print Bibles. <laughs> Maritime Museum is just uh, next to the governor's bungalow. It is basically a couple of rooms with few items. And now we are going back because the kids are dying to have a plunge on the sea. Though kids were unwilling, we had to pull them out of water. As in the afternoon, our plan was to visit Masila Mani Nathar Temple. This is not the original one which was built by the Pandinan dynasty in the 13th century. Rather, this one is recreated as a replica of the original temple in 2013 because uh, the original temple is destroyed by the sea. The architecture is quite distinct. Uh, this kind of pagoda you usually don't see in uh, part of the country. And many people believe in this architecture, there is a combination of Chinese and Tamil art. And uh, the idea was to attract the Chinese traders over here. This ancient temple proves Tharangambari was an important post by the maritime trading route, much before Europeans set their feet here. Even though it is uh, east coast, so you don't get to see the sunset, but the ambience is so good. This seems to be a very popular local uh, destination. I see a lot of people here. Everyone has come with their friends, family. Overall, very happy and good mood. After spending some beautiful time uh, by the sea, now we are just walking through the streets of Tarangambari. And this is the statue of Bartholomew Zilgenberg who was the first protestant uh, missionary to come to India. Zligenberg also established the first protestant church in India here in Tharangambari, which is still operational. I see a lot of uh, street food vendors here. So let's go and try some of those. Some local cereals along with some uh, chana curry, green chili and all. Overall, quite flavorful. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
If you want to see more unique places like this, then do visit our Dekho Apna Desh playlist because we do road trips around this beautiful country and post the videos here. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, give it a like. Don't forget to comment. We are going to meet very soon. Until then, stay safe and stay happy.